Hi there, my name is Molly. I'm a registered dietitian and I also part own and operate Freedom Bakery in Woburn, Massachusetts, and I'm also a chef. So today we are going to make some tacos. We're using some really fantastic ingredients here that's gonna make our life really easy. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I have a sheet tray here lined with parchment paper, and this is just some sliced bell peppers and onions. You can even get this frozen or you can cut it up yourself totally up to you. I have my oven preheated to 325, which is also the temperature we're going to use to heat up our taco shell later. All I'm going to do is drizzle this with a little bit of olive oil, about half a tablespoon, and this is just two parts salt to one part pepper. So I'm just going to give this a little bit of a sprinkle, toss this around, and this is going to go in the oven and start cooking while we do all the rest of our ingredients. Next, I'm going to get going on my uh, ground beef. This is 90-10 lean ground beef. But you can use any ground protein you want. Ground chicken, ground turkey, ground pork. All of this is going to work. This is one pound of the ground beef because we're going to add in our taco seasoning, which is a one-to-one -one ratio. So this seasoning here, our um, Siete Foods taco seasoning, is meant for one pound. So I'm going to start to cook off the beef, and then I will add our taco seasoning and some water according to the package directions. So that's starting to go. We're just looking for that to brown. When it comes to a ground protein, you're really, those ratios that you see at the store are the fat to lean content. So that's the percentage you're seeing. If you see 90, 10 or 80, 20, 80, 20 is 80% lean or 20% fat. The higher the lean, right? The 90, 93 and the 96, the less fat. Go, I like to go somewhere in the middle. I don't always like to go like 99% fat free because I want a little moisture, but I want to make sure I'm getting lots of great lean protein in there as well. So this is starting to brown. Another minute or two, I'm going to add my seasoning. This skillet that I have here is really wide and has a great amount of surface area, which means my meat is gonna cook really quickly and really evenly, which is fantastic. If you have a little bit of a smaller skillet, totally fine. Also, this is an electric skillet. You could absolutely do this on a stove and any non-stick skillet, the wider the better to help you cook things really quickly. I'm not going to add any other seasonings in this because the taco seasoning is going to cover all of it. My meat is starting to brown, so I'm just going to sprinkle in my seasoning here. And then while that continues to cook, I'm going to put this with the water according to the package directions. And that's going to go in as well. And this is still medium-high heat. This is going to all cook through. And also, as it cooks with the water, the seasoning is going to help. Uh, thicken a little bit, almost like its own sauce. And we're looking for this to be completely cooked through, completely brown, with no pink spots. We want this completely cooked in its entirety. So here we have an avocado. It's mostly firm to the touch with a little bit of give. And we have our guacamole seasoning mix. That mix is meant for two cups of avocados. So I've got two about cup size avocados here. I'm going to show you how to open them. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your knife, a nice sharp knife, and you're going to cut all the way around very carefully, but all the way around in one circle. Then you're going to take your two halves and you're going to twist with a little bit of effort here. You're going to twist and there is your avocado. Now, there are two ways to get the pit out. You can use the knife right here. You just go straight down, twist, and the pit will pop out. That's a great option. Or on the second one, I'll show you if you're a little bit worried about using the knife to get the pit, I'll show you how you can pop it out as well. So we went in a circle, twist, there's the pit. All you're going to do is you're going to take your thumb on the back of the avocado and you're just going to push straight down and the pit will pop right out and you're ready to rock. So next you need to get the avocado out of the skin. My favorite way to do this is with a nice big spoon. You're going to go as close to the skin as possible so that you're not wasting any avocado and you are going to scoop it out. Now, I have my bowl here and I'm going to put my avocado in it, but a great trick for avocado and for guacamole is you actually want to mash it on a flat surface. It makes it a lot easier to get to all the avocado and it makes it a lot faster of a process. I've got my avocado here, so I've got four halves. Also, if you're not serving guacamole right away, it tends to oxidize or start to turn brown. You can start to prevent that, yes, with some lemon or lime juice, but also leaving the pits in the guacamole. Those will help prevent some of that oxidation as well. So I have my four halves here. I'm gonna give them just like a rough little chop first. And then I'm going to use my fork on this flat surface to help mash them. You can hear my beef sizzling over here. It's fully cooked. It absorbed the water. It absorbed all the taco seasoning. It smells absolutely delicious. And it'll be great with all these toppings we have and our fajita veggies that we have going 
in the oven. So these were given a rough chop, and now you can take your fork and you can just start mashing on the flat surface. And it's a lot easier than if it's in a bowl. And all you're gonna do is just press, press, press with your fork and you'll get a guacamole that's not too smooth, but also that's really fully incorporated and it's perfect for adding in seasoning. Here we have our beautifully mashed avocado, not fully pureed, but ready to go. So I'm gonna scoop all this into our bowl and then we can add in our seasoning. You can also add in some other things you might like, a dash of lime juice. I've got some um, minced red onion and some cilantro here that we have as toppings on our salsa or on our tacos. So you could also add that as well. But this is about the texture you're looking for. If you like it smoother or if you like it a little more chunky, either way, whatever you like better, you can do that in your guacamole. And I just like to stir that with a spoon and there you go. Now we have our hard taco shells. These are really best heated up just according to package directions. And I love to use a muffin tin for this because it holds them straight up, which is wonderful. What we're gonna do with these is we are going to add in cheese into them before they bake. Not on all of them, because not everyone wants melted cheese. You can always add shredded cheese on top of your taco. But onto two of these, I'm gonna add a slice of pepper jack cheese just right in the center there. And then two of them, I'm gonna do Colby Jack. And when these bake, the cheese will get nice and bubbly and really adhere to the edge of your taco shell, which makes for a really fantastic taco eating experience. So these slices are just thin slices. They fit right in. I've got two plain, two pepper jack, two Colby Jack. I'm going to very carefully pick this up and this is gonna go in the oven uh, for package direct. So this is just a couple of minutes. And that also works out for our timing to finish up our peppers and onions. Our fajita veggies are out of the oven. They're absolutely delicious. And we have our taco shells. I chose one with Colby Jack and one with Pepper Jack here. And the shells are nice and warm and slightly browned as well. We also had our can of black beans. All I did for this was drain and rinse the beans until the water was running clear. And these are ready to go. These can go in your taco or I'm actually gonna do them on a side with some of my fajita veggies. So I'm gonna take my taco. I'm gonna put a little bit of guacamole down on the bottom spread that out just a little bit. Then I am going to put some ground beef with our taco seasoning right there in the middle. And then it's really up to you what you want for toppings. I've got some shredded lettuce here. I'm gonna put a little bit of that on. And this is just some sour cream with a little bit of lime zest. We'll put a little bit of that on top. So that's some salsa right there, any dried salsa you like and some red onions. So there's one taco. This one, let's go no guacamole. Let's put beans in this one. We'll put those on the bottom there. We'll take some of our beef once again. You can also go vegetarian with this and use the beans as your protein, which is wonderful. With this one, let's go some cilantro and let's do a little extra shredded cheese right there on top of that one. Two tacos. And then on the side, I'm also gonna take some of our fajita veggies just right here and a few extra black beans and just put a little bit of salsa on that and that can be our side dish. So that is your finished product. You can put whatever toppings you want on your tacos. They are so good. We're gonna do a taste test right now. So here we go. The cheese holds the taco shell together. They don't fall apart because they've been nicely warmed up. They're so tasty. Meal is really easy to make. Hope you try it.